working on a project you know one day will be launched into space, be that far away from you, look up in the sky and say, hey, I built something that's floating up there. I think it's very, very exciting, but at times also nerve wracking. I only have one shot. This is a project about trying to grasp and manipulate objects in space using gecko-inspired adhesives. One of the interesting things about a gecko is that most of the time it's not sticky, but when it needs to grab a surface, it can. And so we've developed a gecko-inspired material. If you were to look at it under a microscope, you would see a forest of little tiny sharp wedges. And the whole point is that like the actual gecko itself, most of the time it's not sticky. But when it's loaded in just the right way, it will grip. And then on demand, we can release. In space particularly, we think it's useful because in, in space, things are free floating. So that means that even though the adhesive is not especially strong, I don't need a lot of it in order to latch onto a relatively large object and, and then move it where I want. We are designing a, a gripper that will be mounted on a platform designed by NASA called the Astrobee. The Astrobe is a free-floating uh, robot that will be operating inside the International Space Station. In collaboration with NASA, we are going to test how our gripper can enable the Astrobe to perform autonomous grasping and manipulations of objects uh, in space. We've set up a ground station in our lab. So this ground station has a lot of software that basically allows us to communicate and actually visualize live what's going on. So we had a couple live video feeds that allowed us to actually monitor what the astronauts were doing. We can't directly communicate with the astronauts. So instead, we go through our NASA kind of partners. We're watching live video and then we step through the procedures that we've been working on and develop with our partners and collaborators at NASA. First will just be some basic pull tests putting the gripper on different kinds of uh, objects, panels, surfaces inside, applying known forces and recording what force it takes to make it lose its grip. Is it the same force that we are measuring in the laboratory? If not, why not? Then the next set of experiments will be ones that involve the uh, Astrobe platform under computer control, autonomously coming in and gripping. How reliable is that process? What range of velocities can we tolerate? It went great and exceeded my expectations. We were able to get really good force data from the manual testing. And then the Astrobe was actually able to do some panning and tilting while they attached to the surface. The astronauts are really invested in seeing your hardware work. When we first had a couple unsuccessful perching attempts, it was really exciting to see the astronauts just really on the fly offering you know, sol solutions or troubleshooting or offering to go pick up some other test surface that we can try to grab onto. For me, working on uh, space applications uh, is the pinnacle of uh, my research. And uh, uh, not just for me, but also for the students, being able to perform an experiment in space, the rewards are extremely high. Eventually, there's interest in grabbing things outside of the International Space Station, and I think that's the really interesting opportunity in the long run, because almost nothing else will work. You're in a vacuum, so you can't use suction cups. Most of the material is not magnetic, so you can't use electromagnets. If you want to grab a really large solar panel or an antenna, gecko adhesives is one of very few technologies that will work 